Hello there, my fellow mythologians and lovers of spooky folklore, and welcome back to another episode of our lore series. Today we shall be tackling a topic that is arguably the most generic of the creatures and entities we covered so far, but generic in a good way. Because the topic of today is in actuality so broad and interpretable that it might as well be its own category. Ladies and gentlemen, I give you the so-called Boogeyman. We are gonna talk about some general traits of this entity, and also learn just how widespread its connecting legends are. I am your host, the Grimdark Narrator, and without further ado, let us proceed, shall we? The Boogeyman is a mythical monster, the impact of whom can be traced across the globe. One of the first references to this legendary creature is thought to be around the 1500s, though it is suspected that the Boogeyman has existed long before that. It is thought that the Boogeyman was originally a reference for mischievous creatures known as Hobgoblins. Throughout much of Europe, these Hobgoblins were actually quite friendly or limited to light-hearted pranks, but there are stories of Hobgoblins which are more vile in nature. The creatures were said to torment the humans, sometimes to the point of frightening them to death. Regardless of how the Boogeyman came into existence, they exist as one of the most well-known and feared creatures of all time. There are hundreds of names of the Boogeyman around the world, each one with its own interesting twist. Because the Boogeyman has such a large global impact, it is difficult to determine which country told the first tales of the monster. But one thing is for certain. The Boogeyman do love to lurk in the shadows of the night, and their many victims are the disobedient children who don't listen to their parents. Descriptions of the Boogeyman can vary wildly from country to country and culture to culture. Interestingly, almost all of these do share some traits too. The majority of Boogeyman are some kind of spirit or entity that terrorize naughty children at night. They can strike for any number of reasons, ranging from anger towards children who leave dirty things hanging around, or children who stayed up past their bedtime. Many boogeymen are said to have long nails or claws that they use to scratch against window panes in the middle of the night. There are also stories of boogeymen who have terrifying eyes that haunt children who venture outside after dark. Some boogeymen are said to have horns or look like an animal, while others are told to be evil humanoids or witches. In the United Kingdom, it is thought that the boogeyman might have originally been a description of the so-called buggy man. These buggy men were responsible for picking up the dead, especially when the Black Plague was devastating Europe. Because of this contact with the dead, they were often very sick themselves, and had skeleton-like figures and sunken eyes. Other boogeymen are said to be incorporeal, said to have no figure or the ability to shapeshift. They can appear as the tree limb scratching against your window, or simply present themselves as a terrifying shadow lurking beneath the bed. Maybe one of the most interesting features of the boogeyman is its ability to exist in the folklore of hundreds of countries and hundreds of cultures while having very few physical similarities. The boogeyman's ability to blend and adapt to many cultures led many to think that the boogeyman is a kind of spirit. While very mysterious, the boogeyman is best understood through its motivation. It is mainly fixated on children, though there are some myths in some countries that suggest the boogeyman will seek out anyone who is guilty of wrongdoing. Regardless of what age group a particular boogeyman goes after, it seems to be a common theme that they will not attack those who are considered to be, air tags, good or righteous. There are many variations on why the boogeyman preys on the victims. Most versions of the boogeyman will come after children if they've been naughty, or disobeyed their parents in some way. These boogeymen have a wide range of abilities and punishments that they choose from. Some will only give children terrifying reminders like scratching on their window at night, appearing as a shadow lurking in the corner of their bedroom, or chasing them when they've wandered away from home in the middle of the night. Other boogeymen are far more sinister, making it even more important for children to mind their parents' instructions. 
these boogeymen have a taste for naughty children and will often sneak into their rooms to carry them away into the night. These children are then never found again and are said to be eaten by the boogeyman. There is also another strange category of boogeyman who does not come after children simply for being naughty. They will often serve as a kind of protector, even though they tend to have a horrifying appearance. There's also boogeyman that don't care about the age of their target, they will simply attack the guilty. Now, like I said already, there's dozens if not hundreds of iterations of the boogeyman across the world. So, while I can't really describe all of them today, I will overview several from across various cultures. The Babaroga is a Croatian boogeyman with a deep hunger for disobedient children. This boogie is said to be an old woman with horns atop her head. She stalks her prey at night and takes them back to her dark hiding place where she devours them. Babaroga is thought to carry a bag that she uses to drag children away into her lair, which is often a cave. She sometimes preys on children who venture out late at night, while other times she is said to reach down through the cracks in the ceiling and grab her prey. Tata Duende comes to us from Latin America and is most prominent in the Mayan and Mestizo folklore. This boogeyman has backwards feet and is missing his thumbs, which gives him a strange fixation on the thumbs of humans, especially human children. It is said that the Tata Duende, which translates roughly into Grandfather Goblin, is the protector of the jungle. However, he can also be very mischievous. If Tata Duende finds a naughty child, he will lure them into the jungle and try to bite off their thumbs. The Namahage is a Japanese demon who preys on children that are disobedient, lazy, or prone to crying. It is known to steal crops and disobedient children during the New Year. They are known to roam city streets during the night and calling out, Are there any crybabies? The Luomo Nero, or Black Man, is typically portrayed as a man dressed in all black, which haunts disobedient children in the eastern Mediterranean area. This boogeyman is often said to wear a hood or hat which hides the face. The Luomo Nero comes to kidnap children who disobey their parents, though unlike other boogeyman, he doesn't eat them. Instead, he takes them to a frightening place to live with him for a whole year. The Jambi is an evil human spirit which comes back to haunt the living in Caribbean folklore. While similar to a ghost, the Jambi differs in that they cast a dark black shadow instead of appearing as a wispy, luminous figure. These spirits are malevolent and supposedly they will attack anyone. In Greece, the common translation of boogeyman is Babulas. This guy is used by the parents to scare their children so that they won't misbehave. It is supposed to be some kind of cannibal that eats the children. That is why the most common phrase about the creature is be good or the boogeyman will come to eat you. In Egypt, there is the Abu Rigal Masluka, which translates to the man with the burnt or skinned leg. This is another scary story that the parents tell their children when they misbehave. The Abu Rigal Masluka is a monster that got burned when he was a child, precisely because he didn't listen to his parents. He's supposed to grab naughty children, cook them, and eat them. In Indonesia, there is a boogeyman who strikes fear into the hearts of children and parents alike, known as the Wewe Gombel. This strange boogeyman is said to be a spirit that seeks both vengeance and acceptance. Although the Wewe Gombel spirit is evil in nature, it doesn't harm the children. Instead, she kidnaps the children that are being abused or neglected by their parents until she feels that the parents have learned their lesson. Even though she only takes vengeance upon the parents, she is feared by children in equal measure. It is said that any child unfortunate enough to be kidnapped by the Wewe Gombel is forced to eat feces until they are allowed to return home. In Panama, children are warned that if they are naughty, La Tuli Vieja will come to get them. This is a spirit who was cursed by God for drowning her child, and transformed into a hideous monster with a pockmarked face, long and bristly hair, clawed hands, a cat's body and hooved feet. She was also cursed to forever look for her drowned child. 
In Malta, the Kaka or Gaga was a grey, slimy creature that roamed the streets at night. It could smell a person's guilt and enter their home, through cracks and fissures, by extending and contracting its snail-like body. Once it was inside their room, it would flash them a nasty grin, with its huge, toothless mouth scaring them senseless. In the United States, the Boogeyman was also called the Boogerman or the Booger Monster, especially in areas of the American South. It was often used to keep young children from playing outside after dark, or wandering off into the woods. In some Midwestern states, the Boogeyman scratches at the window. In Iowa, he is called the Corn Stalker. In the Pacific Northwest, he may manifest as a green fog. In other places, he hides or appears under the bed or in a closet, and tickles children going to sleep at night. While in others, he is a tall figure in a black hooded cloak, who puts children in a sack and runs away with them. And this, my friends, has been my relatively short overview of the infamous Boogeyman for today. Like I said earlier, there are a lot more representations of the Boogeyman than the ones I mentioned today. In fact, some of these have such rich backgrounds that you can make separate videos just for them. But, since you're all smart people here, I believe you did get the gist about what the Boogeyman is all about. If nothing else, they sure love eating children. Was this episode informative or entertaining? In that case, please click the like button and subscribe for future content. And if you want this series to survive and continue, please try to watch the videos and support them if you can. Thank you very much for watching, and I wish you all an awesome day. This is GDN signing off.